Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be about adding a network adapter to your Proxmox Home Lab server. If you would like to know more about the network adapter that Virtualize Everything chose to add to their demo server, please check the links in the description. The first step for adding your network adapter to your Proxmox server is going to be to select your server. Then you're going to select network. If your card initialized correctly, you should see it appear in this window. Take note of the new name added. You will need it later. To begin the steps for adding this network adapter to your Proxmox server, you're going to select Create. A drop-down window will appear and we're going to select Linux Bridge. As you can see, there are some other options here and I plan on providing you with videos about them. But today we're going to select Bridge because this is the easiest configuration to get started using our new network adapter. After selecting Bridge, a new window will appear. Now, again, we can see the new network adapter in the screen behind us grayed out. The same one that I told you to take note of the name before. Enter the name where it says Bridge Port. Where it says name, you can configure, but I would suggest for organizational purposes just leaving it at its default. Then select Create. Now that you have created the new Linux Bridge port, you will need to take further steps to activate this port. Here you can see that it has appeared in the organizational screen. And at this point, you can just click reboot. When your Proxmox server fully reboots, this port will be operational. But to do this without rebooting our Proxmox server, we're going to have to do some extra steps. The first step we're going to do is to select Apply Configuration. Then we're going to click Yes. Oh no, we got an error message. I expected to get this error message, but I wanted to show you what would happen. So, to deal with the problem of not being able to activate our new network configuration, we need to close out of this window by clicking OK or the X and then open our shell terminal. Now with our shell terminal open, we need to install some software called IF up down 2. The command to install this software is apt install IF up down 2. It'll take a few seconds and install. When it is done installing, we can go ahead and close our shell terminal. Come back to this window, click Apply Configuration, click Yes, and this time a window will run, and when it finishes, we will see that both our new network adapter port is active and our Linux bridge is active. Now our network adapter is ready to use for our projects with our home virtualization lab. As always, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help virtualize everything out. Also, I have provided an Amazon affiliate link in my description to the card that we used for this particular setup. Feel free to go check it out. If you purchase anything after checking that link out, part of the revenue will be contributed to Virtualize Everything. That'll help Virtualize Everything buy new stuff to give you better, more informative presentations. Have a good night.